a very good morning to all of you i hope that you and your family are safe dear student welcome back to the online classes i hope that you have completed your holiday homework properly children your periodic test is coming soon that's why i am going to revise all the chapter one by one so let us start today's class it is your computer book computer in action part 4 the name of the first uh, name of the first chapter is computer past and present in this chapter we will learn generation of computers characteristic of a computer wearable gadgets so let us start first topic that is generation of computer children as you know that man has always been work making tireless effort to invent different calculating machine some of early calculating devices such as abacus napier's bones pascal line analytical engine difference engine census machine have played a crucial role in laying the foundation of present day computer the development of present day computer can be studied in reference to the different generation of computing devices each generation of computer is characterized by a major technological development that fundamentally change the way computers operate student development of computer can be classified into five generation let's see one by one first generation of computer the time period of first generation computer is 1942 1956 the first generation computers used vacuum tubes these computers relied on machine language to perform operations and could solve only one problem at a time these computers were huge very expensive to operate occupied a lot of space and consume a great deal of electricity the example of first generation computers are eniac edvac univac 1 and mark 1 the full form of eniac is electronic numerical integrator and calculator i repeat once again electronic numerical integrator and calculator the full form of edvac is electronic discrete variable automatic computer i repeat once again electronic discrete variable automatic computer the full form of univac is universal automatic computer universal automatic computer second generation of computer the time period of second generation computer is 1956 to 1963 the second generation computer used transistor the transistor was far superior to the vacuum tubes allowing computers to become smaller faster cheaper more energy efficient and more reliable than the first generation of computers these were also the first computer that stored their instruction in their memory the examples of second generation computer are univac 3 IBM 1401 IBM 700 and NCR 300 series the full form of IBM is international business machine third generation of computer the time period of third generation computer is 1964 to 1971 the third generation computers used integrated circuit 
they were faster and efficient than second generation computer the user communicated with the computers using keyboards and mouse in this generation in this generation computer are used operating system and many different application to run at a one time in this generation of computer computer used silicon chips called semiconductors which greatly increased the speed and efficiency of computers example of third generation of computer is IBM 360 ICL Univac 1108 and Univac AC 9000 fourth generation of computer the time period of fourth generation computer is 1970 one to present the fourth generation computer used microprocessor as thousand of integrated circuits were built on to a single silicon chips what in the first generation computer filled an entire room could now fit in the palm of the hand computers became very powerful powerful with large storage capacity now computers could be linked together to form network and share resources the example of fourth generation computer are desktop computer fifth generation of computer time period of fifth generation computer is present and beyond fifth generation computing device based on artificial intelligence are still in development though there are some applications such as voice recognition that are being used today these are capable of performing highly sophisticated operation at a very fast speed the goal of fifth generation computer is to develop devices that respond to natural language input and are capable of learning self organization right it is your homework in the practice zone match the following component feature with the generation in which they were are 